build upon Melier's work was the real Wizard of Oz, MGM master Arnold Buddy Gillespie. To transport Dorothy to the fantastic land of Frank Baum's best-selling novel, Gillespie was asked to create a spectacular illusion that had never been seen on screen before. It's a twister! It's a twister! The Wizard of Oz presented a lot of very, very interesting problems, and the tornado was one of the toughest, naturally, that we had faced. We didn't quite know what to do, and it was finally resolved by building a funnel out of muslin, and it was about 30-some-odd feet in length. The muslin funnel was filmed spinning over a miniature farm landscape. As it moved, the funnel kicked up fine powder, producing the illusion of a powerful whirlwind. To show Dorothy's house crash landing in Oz, he dropped a miniature onto a painted floor covered by clouds of dry ice. Then he printed the shot in reverse. After landing, Dorothy opened the door to one of the most fantastic worlds in cinema history. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Dorothy was filmed in some of the largest sets ever built, but many were not as large as they seemed. The yellow brick road that appears to stretch forever actually went about 40 feet. The rest is a painting created by Gillespie's team. To place Dorothy within painted surroundings, a cardboard cutout, or mat, was placed in front of the camera before the actors were filmed. This ensured that only the live action part of the film negative would be exposed. The painting was shot using the same piece of film and a companion cutout. Within the camera, this produced a seamless blend between background and actors. Gillespie used such invisible visual effects to take audiences to a world that still enchants viewers. Dorothy traveled to her fantasy realm in a high-powered twister.